Hello guys, today we're hosting Piotr, CEO and founder of Querona. I'd like to ask you a few questions about your product, your startup, but in general about data science, maybe AI. Could you please describe in a few words what is Querona and why are you connecting your startup with data science? Querona is a, a product in the so-called data virtualization area. Uh, this is the concept of uh, providing uh, access to all data for analytics in a very lean way. That means uh, instead of uh, copying all data from all sources that will be used for, by data scientists for analytics. Uh, all data sources are connected directly, registered and are available for analytics uh, instantly. By instantly you mean you can use your Querora where exactly? We are actually uh, simulating that we are already a database mm -hmm. where you uh, finished like a one year project of building a central data warehouse, but instead of uh, wasting one year, you see all your corporate data from multiple sources, internal or external data, uh, from social media, from uh, uh, CRM platforms, uh, SaaS platforms. You see them like they were already loaded uh, to a warehouse, like you finished a, a huge uh, database project. Querona is quite new on the market, yes. I would say. And uh, as a new startup and company, you're quite successful right now, right? You've won a hackathon, you have like deals with big companies right now. What is behind success of Querona? What, what do you think makes your startup or your company right now successful as, as we speak right now? Instead of uh, starting and going to the market pretty early mm -hmm. with an unfinished product, we looked at the competition. What needs uh, are uh, pointed by data scientists as uh, most important like uh, empowerment of uh, data scientists and business in data management. And we said, okay, uh, the, a perfect product should uh, not only provide you access to data, but also data modeling, self-service, access from any client tool, because we don't know which type of uh, AI tool uh, the customer will use. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we expose it in a very standard format, so we are simulating Microsoft SQL Server, you can use any AI pro, uh, platform that we don't even know about. Which industry right now can benefit the most from your solutions? There is a lot of interest in banking, especially in either precise marketing, customer segmentation, or building data science, uh, searching uh, through their data and identifying uh, opportunities. Fintech startups uh, appear because uh, there is a uh, there is usually some uh, market niche, a group of customers that need a special treatment. Mm -hmm. The best way to find this uh, group of uh, customers and a special need is to look into data. In order to do that, you need to connect to all the data sources, put uh, and empower your data science team and let them dig into the data, like compare the um, list of customers with their uh, behavior, like what type of transaction they did. Maybe they also they also have a loan, maybe they also have an insurance. And this total view of the customer gives you a clue uh, if you can offer, a, if, you, if you have a special offer for those customers. Big data is useless until you analyze them, right? Exactly. So this is the moment when Querona comes in, like to analyze this big data, right? So this is where Querona comes in. We give you a single view. I presented today uh, one of uh, uh, solutions, which is like a process to make a company a data-driven company, a company that uses data for decision making. Okay. And uh, the first step is, is, of course, identify your um, experts, people interested in data, uh, data visioners. The, the next step is to provide uh, access, uh, provide uh, access to data for those people, unlimited access. Sometimes the data must be encrypted, anonymized, but uh, for sure those guys it need. Depends on the company, right? yes, or but, the industry. Yes, but they need uh, access to all types of data from any platform. The data science team is empowered to bring all the data they need. They can create so-called ana analytical sandboxes. Okay. So they copy like data from three, four sources. They do their analysis and they either abandon it or they uh, know that uh, they ad identified 1% uh, of customers with an absolute potential and uh, there should be a regular business process around this particular uh, group of customers. 
I'd like to ask you one thing, it's our favorite question in the show. What is for you and for Querona and maybe for the all artificial intelligence and data science uh, industry, the biggest challenge that will be here in next year, in two years or three years from now? For us, actually, identifying those teams and customers who really know how to uh, take advantage of data science. Not just they heard that data science is cool, mm -hmm. but they really have data science teams that are fully empowered. Uh, those data science teams are uh, concentrated on providing business values to the company, not just uh, having a data science team for the sake of uh, being an innovative company who has a data scientist on board. Every company needs to be in this digital transformation. They're building these data science science teams, but what you're saying that they're not doing enough work to, so maybe they can do better? They should look at uh, the uh, data science from the uh, results that they expect okay. to have, especially to fully automate the results of uh, data science uh, experiments. So it will be impossible to analyze the data without the human touch with that, right? It's impossible to make it totally automatic. It won't be possible mm -hmm. to replace the, the human because the human is the person at the end who decides which data is uh, valuable for the business process. And a human, a manager, is at the end to accept if um, this data and the results will be used in the business and how they impact the business. If the business actually grows and uh, uh, attracts new customers or provides as a unique value to the current customer base. Okay, so thank you for being here. That was a really nice talk. Uh, thanks and good luck for Querona and for your team in the nearest future. Thanks thank a lot. You.